Step into the quirky world of My Favorite Martian, a 1963 TV series that brought humor, surprises, and a touch of the bizarre to living rooms across America. This classic sitcom centers around Tim, a newspaper reporter, and his extraterrestrial roommate who crash lands on Earth. Now, before you dismiss it as just another old show, hold on there's more to it than meets the eye. Ever wondered about the behind-the-scenes stories that unfolded during the making of this iconic series? Are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes that fascinate you? Well, you're in for a treat because there are many funny, shocking, and even sad facts waiting to be uncovered as we delve into its history. But that's not all. This TV series isn't just about laughs and weird happenings. It has a unique charm that has left a mark on the hearts of viewers over the years. Can you share a personal story of how it has inspired or impacted your life? Perhaps it sparked your interest in the unknown or brought joy during challenging times. Now, here's the hook. Stay tuned because we've got a treasure trove of facts and stories coming your way. Funny, shocking, and yes, even a bit sad. So, grab your popcorn, settle in, and let's explore the fascinating world of this classic. And before you go, we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Drop your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. Explore the enduring impact of the 1963 TV series My Favorite Martian by diving into how it resonated with audiences during its time and its lasting influence on popular culture. The classic sitcom, centered around Tim, a newspaper reporter, and his extraterrestrial roommate, brought humor and a touch of the bizarre to households across America. During its initial run, the show garnered widespread acclaim for its innovative blend of comedy and science fiction. Viewers were captivated by the quirky dynamics between Tim and his otherworldly companion, sparking laughter and fascination in equal measure. The success was not merely confined to comedic elements, it carved a niche for itself by seamlessly integrating the otherworldly with the mundane. The impact extended beyond the small screen, giving rise to a cultural phenomenon. Spin-offs, inspired by the unique premise, emerged to further explore the possibilities of intergalactic encounters. The series sparked a trend in the entertainment industry, with other productions drawing inspiration from its successful fusion of genres. Merchandise associated with the show became highly sought after, offering fans the chance to bring a piece of it into their daily lives. From action figures to clothing, the market was flooded with products that celebrated the charm and quirkiness of the beloved characters. Adaptations and reinterpretations of the concept continued to surface, showcasing the enduring appeal of the extraterrestrial human dynamic. The legacy can be traced through the threads of subsequent productions that pay homage to its influence on the science fiction and comedy genres. In retrospect, the impact is not confined to its initial broadcast and has become a cultural touchstone influencing subsequent generations of storytellers. The enduring popularity speaks to its ability to transcend its era, leaving an indelible mark on the television landscape. As we reflect on the reception of the series and its profound impact on popular culture, it's evident that My Favorite Martian is more than just a classic sitcom. It's a testament to the timeless appeal of clever storytelling and the exploration of the unknown. Share your thoughts on how this iconic show has left its mark on your own experiences and the broader cultural landscape. In the realm of behind-the-scenes trivia, delve into the intriguing anecdotes that surround this 1963 TV series. The spaceship prop, a central element in the show, found its way into magician David Copperfield's possession for a hefty 100000 at an auction in December of 2018. A quirky twist in the series unfolds with Uncle Martin's Martian identity, he goes by the name Exigius 12. Noteworthy is the clever illusion employed to capture the shots of Martin's antenna raising. A prop man, strategically positioned, manipulated a piece of wood with attached antennas behind the actor, Ray Walston. For scenes requiring a rear view of Martin with his antennas fully extended, Walston sported a wig adorned with the distinctive antennae. The series, with its blend of comedy and science fiction, resonated with audiences during its initial run. Tim, the newspaper reporter, and his extraterrestrial roommate brought humor and a touch of the bizarre to households across America. The impact wasn't confined to the small screen, it birthed a cultural phenomenon. Spin-offs and merchandise flooded the market, offering fans a tangible connection to the show's charm. As we reflect on the enduring popularity and cultural impact, it becomes evident that My Favorite Martian is more than a classic sitcom. 
It's a testament to the timeless appeal of clever storytelling and the exploration of the unknown. Share your thoughts on how this iconic show has left its mark on your own experiences and the broader cultural landscape. Uncle Martin, the character from the 1963 TV series, earned the notable distinction of being ranked third on TV Guide's 25 Greatest Sci-Fi Legends. This recognition highlights the enduring popularity and impact of the show, positioning Uncle Martin among the iconic figures of science fiction. Considered the pioneer of science fiction sitcoms, the series laid the groundwork for others, notably Bewitched and I Dream of Genie. What set it apart was its focus on science and advanced technology rather than magic. In a television landscape where fantasy often dominated, My Favorite Martian introduced a fresh perspective, blending humor with the wonders of extraterrestrial science. Ray Walston, who portrayed Uncle Martin, sported a distinctive comb over throughout the series. Surprisingly, it was not his natural hair, but a toupee. This quirky detail adds a touch of humor to the behind-the-scenes aspects of the show, revealing the lengths taken to create Uncle Martin's appearance. The show's innovative approach to combining comedy and science fiction resonated with audiences. Its influence extended beyond the small screen, sparking a cultural phenomenon. The spaceship prop, a central element of the series, found a new owner in magician David Copperfield, who acquired it for a hefty sum at an auction in December 2018. Uncle Martin's Martian identity, revealed as Exigius 12, adds an intriguing layer to the series. The clever illusion employed to capture shots of Martin's antenna raising involves a prop man manipulating a piece of wood with attached antennas behind Ray Walston. For scenes requiring a rear view of Martin with fully extended antennas, Walston donned a wig adorned with a distinctive antennae. As we reflect on the enduring impact of this groundbreaking series, it becomes clear that My Favorite Martian is more than a classic sitcom. It's a testament to the timeless appeal of clever storytelling and the exploration of the unknown. Share your thoughts on how this iconic show has left its mark on your own experiences and the broader cultural landscape. In the My Favorite Martian theme music, Paul Tanner, a former member of Glenn Miller's band, played the electro their men. This unique sound caught the attention of Brian Wilson, leading him to enlist Tanner's help on the Beach Boys' hit Good Vibrations in 1965 and 1966. Despite Uncle Martin's numerous attempts, he never managed to return to Mars in the sitcom. The series concluded without resolving this central dilemma, leaving the fate of the extraterrestrial character open-ended. Ray Walston, who portrayed Uncle Martin, later expressed regret for taking the role, citing financial motivations. However, he formed a lasting friendship with co-star Bill Bixby. Walston's admission sheds light on the complexities behind his decision to take on the role of Uncle Martin. The financial incentive, while tempting, had repercussions on his career, limiting opportunities for substantial roles for several years. Nonetheless, his camaraderie with Bixby remained a positive aspect of his My Favorite Martian experience, 